morning everyone welcome back to the vlog so i'm sitting here actually just finishing my makeup for the day it's been I, I would say a crazy morning but it actually has been what i've just witnessed on tv was crazy and it's not even important as you guys know from one of my last videos i told you all that i've gotten into f1 racing and several of you have done your homework because you've been tagging me on instagram saying that you have gotten addicted as well which makes me so happy because it's just such a good sport again for those of you who may not be sure what i'm talking about go watch the documentary drive to survive on netflix and then you will be hooked on f1 racing and just so you know qualifying is on espn every saturday at 9 a.m and the races are on Sunday on ESPN at 9 a.m. Anyway, that's enough about racing. I'm just getting ready for the day. I have a lot I wanna catch you guys up on because it's been a little minute since I've posted a vlog. And actually, I filmed a vlog over the course of three days last weekend, and I was editing it back, and I just didn't connect with it. Editing it wasn't good for me. I didn't like it. I don't know how to explain that, but I just didn't feel confident with the vlog I was putting forward so I decided to just scrap it and figured I'd apologize for there being such a huge gap between my vlogs but a lot of you guys did say that you like longer vlogs so I'm hoping that this will be one of those for you because there's a lot I want to show you and tell you so first on the agenda after I get ready is I need to wash my hair extensions it's been a while but I actually straightened my hair this morning and I even trimmed a little off i have no clue what i'm doing in that department i can't cut my own hair but i saw some unevenness and dead ends and so i figured i'd try to cut it off myself and i did also i'm still losing hair at like record clumps it's ridiculous i know it's all postpartum but the amount of hair that i'm shedding is ridiculous it's been going on now for two months it's just awful like just brushing my hair clumps margo pulled my hair out anyway right after i was pregnant my hair was so full and thick and now it feel like i'm bald like i always joke on instagram that i look like Gollum from lord of the rings i thought it was just going to be like these edges areas but now it's just like coming out in clumps in the back everywhere so We'll see what happens with that. But anyway, like I said, I need to wash my hair extensions and steam my outfit for the day. We are going to take a little venture out to the mall. And by we, I mean you and me because I'm not taking my kids to the mall yet. I have to go look at something and I'll explain that later. I'm just trying to like work fast because Margot just went down for a nap. And if too much time passes before I go, I'm gonna have to wait till she wakes up so I can feed her. And then I'll leave her here with Brandon. And this is so sad because this is his final week home with us, our final weekend home. He, from now on, will be working weekends and or out of town until Super Bowl weekend because football season is officially starting. And the Super Bowl is planned for Margot's birthday this year. So that'll be really interesting because even if we don't go to the Super Bowl as a team, he usually does their logistics. So he goes anyway. But before I get moving, what else have we missed? Oh, uh, I'll insert photos right here, but Bash's birthday passed. He turned three and update on the potty training. We are finally doing good. We tried to potty train him at two and a half and it was a freaking nightmare. The waiting till he was three was the best thing ever. It's not perfect. We're still having accidents, but it was just better for us to wait and I feel so much better about it. All of my girlfriends who have sons waited till their, their sons were three and it ended up being fine. So that's good for Bash. But we did celebrate his birthday. It was a construction theme. We didn't really have a party. It was just our family, but like we did make it really special. I'll insert some things right here so you can see it. I made this really big balloon garland and I made his cake and I put construction trucks on the top and I don't know, it just turned out really, really cute. What else happened? My mom got married. So that was really nice. It was definitely a COVID wedding, so we really couldn't even be around each other that much. I obviously couldn't even be in the wedding. It was at their house and it's beautiful. The house is on a lake. I, I think I took you guys there in my Mother's Day vlog and they're renovating it completely, like gutted it down to the studs. It's gonna be fantastic when it's done. I'm so excited for them. What else happened? Oh, we kicked off homeschool preschool because obviously the pandemic, Bash would have gone to school this year and he can't now. And I'm really sad because I feel like he's missing out on interaction with other kids other than Margot. I'll um, link our curriculum down below if you guys wanna see it. But that's pretty much what's been going on here. Like I said, today on the agenda, we're washing hair extensions first and I'm washing them with my Function of Beauty um, shampoo and conditioner. This is not sponsored. I know a lot of people are doing these ads right now and I wish they were sponsoring me, but I actually purchased these on my own and I've, 
I love them so far. But you basically just go on their website and like do a quiz about your own hair type. And then you can answer some questions about like what you want it to look like aesthetically and what you're looking for specifically for your conditioner and shampoo to do for you. And I am impressed. That's all I'm gonna say about that. have a chair in stock I just want to come look at it before I purchase it online Which one? Um, it's the Everly square back dining chair oh, yeah. you have it in store uh, yes, in light gray in gray. Yes, okay thank you I changed I have on this dress I got it from Target and I decided to not put my hair extensions in and just let my hair do its thing today so it'll probably end up in a bun before the end of the day I just finished calling Macy's they have the chair in stock so I'm gonna go look at it and I'm gonna bring my swatch for our sofas to see if they're like a similar gray or if they're gonna clash. I'm gonna try to do it quickly, like I said, because I wanna get back before Margo wakes up. But we live really close to them also. Hopefully it's not going to take forever. Just kidding, I'm awake. She woke up just as I was handing the baby monitor to Brandon so I could leave, so I fed her. And now I don't feel as bad because she won't be that hungry. And if she does get hungry or she can eat like her purees. Oh my goodness, it feels like I cannot get out of my house. We just had a man come and measure out our alcove areas on the sides of our fireplace so that we could get built-in bookshelves put in. I'm going back and forth on this. I wanted open shelving all the way down but then Brandon and I realized we need storage for books so I'm gonna go ahead I think and do a built-in. The guy that just gave us a quote for just the shelves not even like the cabinet part gave the most astronomical amount that we would have to pay for that and Brandon and I were both like no, that's like way too much. And then we asked him how much it would be to completely redo our pantry and he said $400, which the pantry is way more work and wood than the built-ins would be with just shelving, no cabinets. I don't understand how we're well over thousands of dollars on the built-ins, but not the pantry. So we decided we'd rather have a cabinetry company come out and do it than a guy who can just build them and then not even paint them. We would have to either paint them ourselves or hire somebody else to come out and paint them. We just talked about it and we know who we're, who we're gonna call, so we're gonna have them come out and look at the house and tell us what they think. But anyway, I'm in the car now with my newest accessory, this beautiful YSL bag Brandon just got me, and I can show it to you later because we actually need to get over to the mall. Here we go, it's in a trick so I got, we ran out of Vinci's. Oh, it's okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. You. Okay, you as well. I'm smiling, but you can't tell. <laughs> So these are the chairs, but actually now that I'm here, I really like this one right up here. But these are the chairs I'm here for. So this is the swatch. I don't think it's bad, but it's not quite the same, but it's not so far off that like they'll clash. I don't think it's translating quite the same. Hmm. I might need to call Brandon and see what he thinks. Uh, so I spent a lot longer in that mall than I planned to. Sebastian's napping and Margot and Brandon were in the playroom. Brandon was working and she's just in here playing. She gets to play with Batch's toys when he's asleep. <laughs> it occurred to me after I got home that that was the first time I had been in a mall all year long. And oh, I just see my makeup after having my mask on. I need to go fix it, but I have not been out on my own for that long all year. But anyway, now that I'm home, I'm really excited because our console table is here. And I wanna take it out right now and like set it over, you know, where we're gonna put it. And then I'll show you my mood, my mood boards for what we're going to do as far as decor in the house because I've gotten questions on, how come you guys haven't started decorating and are you gonna do decorating videos? And I plan to, but several of the things that I've purchased for our house are either A, on back order, or need to be made and then sent to us, and so that takes several weeks. For instance, the couch that we ordered, once I, 
purchased it, then they send back, they call it a sketch, but it was done on the computer to make sure it's exactly right. And then I said yes, and then it takes, I think the couch, eight to 10 weeks. We still have a few weeks left on that, which is why our old couches are still downstairs. What else? Oh, the kitchen table. It's gonna be this really pretty black, modern style um, table. Again, I'll show you that too. But that table is on back order, and it's going to take 14 to 16 weeks, which when I saw 14 to 16, I could not believe it. I was just like, I'm reading this wrong because that's a very, very long time. So until then, we're gonna have our kitchen table that doesn't really match, which is why I went to the mall today because I have been racking my brain trying to find chairs for this table and i really wanted something modern to go with it but i cannot seem to find chairs where the cost is not astronomical but where they're nice enough that they're not going to fall apart you know six months from now either i found these chairs on macy's they aren't super expensive and they're on major sale right now but the good thing is is if for some reason something were to happen to these chairs i wouldn't be super upset However, we don't sit in our kitchen chairs a lot. Like we eat dinner there and we eat lunch there, but we don't just like hang out in the kitchen. So I would expect that they were they would hold up as well as our chairs downstairs that we have now. Those are from Overstock and we've had those for three years and they've been fine. What else? Oh, Margot's dresser is also, her dresser should be here in a week or two. I think it said the 18th. She does have a crib in her room and I'll show you her mood board later, but it can at least give you a quick look at her crib. So right now in her room, she has this crib. It is a modern style crib in comparison to what Sebastian has with the traditional headboard that will eventually turn into a full bed. This will only go down to the toddler style. So it, has, it came with a toddler rail. And in the vlog that I decided not to put up, I actually built this entire crib myself. It took me two hours, but I was able to do it. And then we went ahead and got her curtains. We have this chair from Best Choice Products. This was in our bedroom in our other house because it was for her and her stuff was in our room over there. I'm coming into my bathroom to touch up my makeup while I talk to you. The light fixture in her room got here a couple days ago, so I can show you that downstairs as well. But I'm not gonna really do or buy anything in her room until that dresser comes. The color scheme I'm going to go with in her room is black, white, gray, because the walls are gray, and the accent color will be brass, so we'll see how that looks. But anyway, like I said, show you all that on the mood boards in just a minute right now we're gonna go downstairs and open this console Brennan, what? i think i'm gonna need your help hun as soon as one child wakes up the other goes to sleep so margo is down and bash is getting up he just successfully went potty, so lots of praise in our house. And uh, yeah, back to this table. Oh my gosh, I love it. That looks so good. Oh, I love it so much. I am beside myself at how nice this thing is. I'm so glad I decided to just do the Pottery Barn one. I kept looking and looking, you guys, I have been on search for a console table for this area since we moved in. We've been here for about a month. Every single day I've been online looking for things for this house, including this area right here, because this would be such a quick space to style up. But I couldn't find a table for it because I wanted something modern looking, but not modern and metal. And I feel like I really got that with this table. I love the wood. I love that you can see the grain in it. I think it goes perfectly with the floors and the walls. I think this color is charcoal. And I want to say this table is called Folsom. I'll link it below so that you guys can check it out for yourselves. But, oh, let me show you my mood board. This mood board is for the entryway table. I love this style. I think it's very modern, but it has European vibe. It's not like that sterile modern where you feel like everything is concrete and, and like hard. I still like warmth, and that's what I feel like I get from the console table. I'm gonna now show you the kitchen, which literally has like two things on it, but you can at least see the table that we purchased. Our island pendants are on here. Another olive tree. I'm gonna do a different type of um, planter base. So it won't be this black one. 
I just threw on this weathered vessel in the middle that would probably go on the table with a bigger arrangement of some sort of greenery coming out of it. Those are the chairs that you saw earlier today at the mall. And then this is the table. I love this table. I love how modern it looks. It, I had a different table on my original mood board, which may still be on my Instagram, I'm not sure. They made the kitchen pool a little bit farmhouse and that's not what I'm going for. I'm not a fan of farmhouse decor, which is not my style. But I think that this table, the black, ties in well with everything. And then just the legs on it gives it a more modern look. And it's very unique. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone with a table like this. All right, so this is the mood board for the dining room. I know for sure I showed this one on my Instagram. I cannot wait to put this room together. Again, with the olive trees, they're just going to be everywhere. I have that same vessel to add somewhere probably to the sideboard that I have under the console table for the entry. I just love that look. I don't know if it'll be the same one but I love this concrete table that does have that hard modern look but I'm softening it up with these moss balls and a vessel and these slip covered chairs I love this chandelier here that would go over the table and then this sideboard I'm not sure if this would be the exact one but it would be a black one with really modern art over it and then some nice things on top but this is the vibe I'm going for I think it'll completely match the rest of the house I'm trying to find the mood board I have for Margot's room and now I'm scared I accidentally deleted it I'm so hurt I can't find it I feel like I'm gonna have to remake it hopefully I can zoom in and you guys can see this it's gonna be these gray curtains which we already have something similar we have that crib we have that chair the dresser is on its way on the mood board I just did brass lines where I think I'm gonna get really long pulls for the handles for it and then something that I thought was a really unique thing you don't see that often is these black and white photos behind the crib that will basically take up the entire wall and then the light fixture it actually looks very similar to whoo we are out of focus there we go it looks like these um, and that's here already, so I'll go show that to you now. This is the light for Margot's room. It's a flush mount light, so it'll sit very high up on the ceiling, but that's what I wanted. I didn't want anything hanging down low because the room is already small. I just wanted something that would look nice in there. And the brass will pull the table in, and the black of this will pull the frames on the wall and the metal rod on the curtains and I just think it'll be a good accent in her room we actually have a silver version of the table that I want to purchase her this one's from Target the one that I'm gonna get her in brass is from the Home Depot but I just love this little table this was in Bash's room and I considered using this for Margaret's room but I really think we need a stronger accent than silver because the walls are already gray so brass is the way we're gonna go but yeah we'll find a new home for this either somewhere else in our house or somebody else's house. Use your whole body. <laughs> when is the fence company coming, Brennan? Tomorrow, Tuesday, he's coming to measure. We're coming to get the fence, the property line measured so that we can have a fence put in. And basically, I'll show you our yard. So we have technically this whole thing up the hill as well but we're not gonna fence that in where that stick is right here is our property line all the way to the stick right there so they'll fence down this hill Pippa no baby go back so they'll fence all this in down this little hill here as well so while we're out here I guess I can just talk about it we ordered the kids new playground set the playground is going to go right here um, probably further back once the fence is in we'll see exactly where it's gonna go it does kind of dip right there so it'll probably come up a little bit further but the playground set will go here and then along this area I'm gonna do three raised beds for our kitchen garden but we're not gonna do that until the spring so in the meantime to satisfy this newfound love of gardening that I feel like I have we're gonna get veg trugs we're gonna get two one's a larger one and then one's a small one like an herb garden and Brandon wants the herb garden so and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm fresh out of the shower. I just did a body shower. Several of you asked on my Instagram for me to discuss this, so I'm gonna quickly talk about it here. We have not started sleep training yet, and I guess I can talk about that more once I start. In the vlog that I scrapped, that was the first night that we put her into her own room. One of my main reasons for wanting to put her in her own room was because I wanted 
my husband back, like my time with him back in our room in the evenings if I wanted to. Basically for the last six months, she had been in our room and in the evenings our, our nights had to end at 7.30 or we'd have to come down here and hang out. I just was starting to get over that. Like I wanted to be able to hang out with him in our room, in our bed and watch TV or do whatever. Um, I wasn't sleeping good at night and neither was she because I feel like babies can smell their mom. I started moving her to her room. So she goes down in there between like 6.30 and 7, 7.30 every night. And it's been great. Now, because we didn't sleep train, she is still getting up to feed. I do not dream feed anymore. She usually will wake up six to eight hours after I've put her down, which is still the middle of the night for us. So I end up feeding her once in the night and then she will sleep for another like three to four hours and then she's up at which point brandon takes her into the bathroom with him because he leaves to go to work super early because he has to get his covid test every morning super early and so he takes her into the bathroom with him as he gets ready you know for an hour or so and i'll sleep in a little bit longer her feedings only last about six minutes at this point because she she's very efficient it's just a quick pop up go in feed her and lay back down and i'm back to sleep within like 10 to 15 minutes which is really nice nutritionally she does not need that feeding in the night i just know she's she's used to it so probably um like i said in a week or so we are going to do the cried out method uh oh my battery's blinking so i'm gonna have to end the vlog anyway if you have any more questions about that just let me know down below i'm going to lay here and watch a little tv some downton abbey make some mood boards and then maybe pop through that interior design book by joanna games homebody um but anyway if you like this one please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye